Nigeria police says there's no going back on intended barracks renovation, and this will be done in partnership with the Lagos state government. The force public relations officer, Muiwa DJB, stated this while briefing journalists in Lagos. Senior correspondent Ivy Kanu has details, and we'll return with business news. It has become expedient to correct the notion out there that police personnel will be evicted from the barracks without notice. The first public relations officer is here representing the Inspector General of Police. With him are representatives of the Lagos State Government. He explained that barracks occupants will be relocated during the demolition and reabsorbed after the completion of the project. Our barracks are very, very old. Many of them were constructed during colonial masters, our colonial era and the likes, and we are still managing them. We have embarked on this project, and it's not going to be a white elephant project. It's going to be a success, plus or minus. We hope that in the next two years, we must have gone far. And if not all 100% completion, we should have gone to almost 90 or 95% completion of this project. The properties are fatigued and ready for rehabilitation. So other barracks outside Lagos too are being considered simultaneously. However, there's a time frame for this construction. By, by the time a project is going beyond three years, it becomes an abandoned project. So we know that within three years, when we give approval, that project must be completed. Where will welfare begin, if not with the housing? Um, we look at those places and we wonder if men actually come out of those buildings, how they would address us, how they would address us on the streets. So an angry man comes out of a building that is almost collapsing. And when he comes to you in your car, in your air-conditioned car, there's nothing he will show or portray other than anger. The first PRO says there's no cause for alarm as provisions will be made for those police officers that will be affected. These officers will be given money to rent apartment for a period of two years in their locations. For instance, if Falomo is going down, our brothers in Falomo, if it's going down, we expect to pay our officers who are working in Falomo, are staying in Falomo barracks, to get apartment in that place. Whatever the amount is, the police will give them. This renovation is continuing and will get to all police dilapidated structures across the country. Ivy Cano, TVC News, Lagos.